Hello everyone and welcome to a new video on our channel. Today I want to discuss and explain one topic which is probably one of the most important in understanding heat pump technology. It is heat pump monitor. What is heat pump monitor? This is open source platform where you can connect your heat pump and you can have real world data on your system. When we are talking about design formulas, our approach, this is all assumptions. In real life, this assumption could be different. On heat pump monitor, we have a lot of systems in real time and we could extract useful data from site. I want to discuss about two things. One is founder of Open Energy Monitor on Beta Teach podcast. You will find the link below. A really good podcast and informative where you could learn firsthand how are they starting platform, what are insights from the platform, and how to deal with some challenges when you are designing and installing a heat pump system. Another thing is one post from David Stanford on LinkedIn. I will put a link below where he analyzed top 20 heat pump by SCOP, seasonal coefficient of performance, more important than coefficient of performance in one point. And he analyzed top 20 heat pumps on a heat pump monitor for less one year. Only one heat pump on an open energy monitor is ground source. All others are air source heat pump. 75% of installers who are putting heat pumps on heat pump monitor, they don't calculate system volume. And it doesn't matter who is the manufacturer because there are a lot of different manufacturers. So the top one thing is heat pump design. Also, refrigerant type R290, R32 doesn't seem to make much different. Every single system with SCOP above four is single zone, and every system with SCOP of four and above has flow temperature of 45 degrees of below. Another few takeaways are that you can find buffer vessels, you can find microbore, 10 millimeters pipe, you can find thermostatic radiator valves, so you could find all different kind of things which we usually think that cannot work efficient with heat pumps. And in summary, what you need to know and what will impact your performance, first 15 plus liters per kilowatt is a rule of thumb for system volume. So 15 to 20 liters per kilowatt, for example, you have five kilowatt unit, so it's 75 to 100 liters. It's the best for modulation for performance. System design is more important than manufacturer. Uh, refrigerant doesn't matter. Always is important to know that one single zone will outperform multi-zones, so never multi-zones. Thermostatic radiator valves and regulation is probably good in bedrooms, in small zones, so open volume in all other zones are approach to go. 45 degrees maximum flow temperature. It doesn't matter if your property is old or new. So you could find systems from 19 to 76 watts per square meter on uh, open energy monitor. Buffer vessels, so in combination with microbore or buffer, as long as system is designed and balanced well, efficiency will be good. And usually, the top performing units are without domestic hot water because in domestic hot water we have slightly higher flow temperature. So really good post, uh, really good uh, discussion under the post. So feel free if you have LinkedIn to go and excellent podcast and beta teach. You can find a link below and you could watch this to learn real life examples, not something that we are discussing in paper and calculators, real life example what is really important. At the end, I also want to add one important thing what I remember from podcast is that defrost could really affect capacity because a lot of manufacturers, they are not putting defrost in equation. For example, if heat pump is 10 kilowatt, it's only nine kilowatt because one kilowatt is, we are losing on defrost. So 
bear in mind if you are designing, for example, UK, where design outdoor temperature is near the zero, where you have a lot of defrost. So bear in mind that maybe you will need to slightly oversize unit, probably 10 to 20 percent, not so much, but slightly to have better efficiency and to have more reliable system. This is all for today. Thank you for watching. Subscribe on our channel and see you next time.